Big data is the new buzzword, but equally important for organizations is the security implications thereof. Big data's new role in security comes at a time when organizations confront unprecedented information risks arising from two conditions, dissolving network boundaries and more sophisticated adversaries. In studio with me to unpack this further, I have Stefan LaRue, District Manager at RSA. Stefan, welcome. Hi, thank you. Now, in a recent report, technology research company Gartner listed mm. strategic big data as some of the big tech trends for 2013. Mm. But big data is a very broad concept or term. Can you contextualize it for us in a business or enterprise um, context? I think if you look at, uh, at big data in a nutshell, you know, the amount of data that organizations have to deal with on a daily basis has just you know, exploded in the last couple of years. And all the studies and trends show, you know, that it's just going to grow exponentially. Now, for us in the security industry, that also means that we have to keep up with the pace of data, which means we have to analyze more information. We have to take more feeds from different areas to analyze it and to actually come up with the couple of things that's trying to get into your organization. And we have to deal with that in a, in a, in a specific way. Now, there's the question about the value of big data in businesses, and a lot of businesses are running pilot projects mm. to see if it's feasible. From your perspective in dealing with local companies and companies on the continent, is big data suited to everybody, or what are the trends on the ground? I think more and more it's going to become important to everybody. Um, I think there's just so much information on a daily basis that, that we can consume and learn from. Um, and, and up to now, not a lot of companies have actually started looking at the amount of data they generate on a daily basis. And, and over the last year or so, we started seeing a lot more companies starting to take uh, cognizance of the fact that there's so much big data out there and they're now starting to run analytics against it. They're starting to look at trending out of their data. And we believe that going forward, you know, it's just going to become more and more the fact where they use the data to make informed decisions. Well, you spoke earlier about the trends. I just uh, drew, drew up a global stat from IBM. They said 2.7 zettabytes of data in 2012 alone. So that's massive. So with any technology, especially database, there are inherent security risks. The technology mm. is moving, so the security mm. risks are moving. Now, you've identified two risk areas, dissolving network boundaries mm. and more sophisticated adversaries. Can you explain the two? Yeah, so if we look at the dissolving of the network perimeter, I think for a long time people have been saying that the perimeter is going to move. So we as individuals are now becoming the perimeter. And the reason for that is, you know, the introduction of smart technology like iPhones, iPads, um, you know, those things are just every day stretching the, the network boundaries. So in the old days, we had this concept of let's put a firewall out there and protect our perimeter. Today, we have to think about new ways of protecting our, our, our new technology that we're going to be using. You know, the, the, everything is changing. Everybody wants to be connected everywhere. So that's the first big thing that companies have to deal with. The second thing they have to deal with is we're suddenly seeing a lot of targeted attacks, very targeted, so very stealthy, very targeted. We're seeing a lot of state organized attacks. So, you know, the guys in the East attacking the West, for instance, to try and get information, um, trying to get access to personal information, you know, so suddenly we've seen um, things like, or places like Twitter and, and Facebook being targeted. Why? Everybody posts everything online. So, you know, it's a source of information. And, and these bad guys actually use that information to target organizations. Because we've seen a shift now as well. You're talking about Twitter and things, that's directly on the client, but we've seen a shift in cyber attacks moving from the client to the service provider. Mm. How do you mitigate those risks? Well, at the end of the day, you have to build a multi-layered defense. Um, so one of the things that we were thinking about as a company for a long time is how do we protect against this latest sign of threat that's, that's attacking us? And, and we've seen so many corporates uh, and ISPs and, and service providers being breached. And at the end of the day, you know, again, we have to think about what's going to happen next. And, and we believe that with what we're doing today, the threat, because the threat has changed so much, we have to think about products that is not necessarily focused on what we call signature base. Uh, solution. Now, what a signature-based solution means, it means it can only detect something on your network if it's got a signature to detect it. 
Now, keeping up with the signatures is, is, a, is a problem of a different kind. And that's why we, we developed some new capability that, that looks at things from, from multi-layers. And it's also keeping a st yes. one step ahead. It is, because you know those guys are well-funded. There's governments behind them. So, so it's not necessarily a young 19-year-old sitting in a bedroom somewhere trying to no, get, break no, into those a bank. Days, look, they, they still occur. <laughs> you know, let, let's be honest, it still occurs. But I think long gone are the days where it is the 19-year-olds. Um, um, you know, more of them are working for companies. They're well-funded. Um, you know, there's, some of them has got organised crime behind them. Some of them, have, as I said earlier, has got nations behind them that, that's funding them. So it also means that the people trying to protect can't scale to that level because obviously budgets are limited. So you have to really think about your strategy when you implement a solution to make sure you protect yourself against what these guys are doing and where they're coming from. So budgets are, are crimping, data is expanding. Just as a last question, Stefan, what is the changing role of IT in all of this? Because these, this is the department that is managing and are tasked with protecting mm. the critical information of any company. I believe going forward we'll see probably IT and, and probably security um, being elevated to a board level discussion because ultimately it's going to come down to what information you need to protect. So what is your crown jewels that you're trying to protect as an organization? And you know, companies will have to spend more on, on doing that. Now, ultimately, that's why it has to be a board level discussion. Otherwise, we're going to sit with, a, with you know, guys, just make a decision to say, no, you know, security, we don't need that. But ultimately, they could stand to lose a lot if they are being breached or some of the information compromised. And lastly, I think you know, where some of the new acts coming out, the protection of personal information and all those kind of things is just going to hit us in the face, which means we'll have to protect, we'll have to think about how do we make sure our data of, of people, information that we're sitting with is not leaking out onto the internet. So companies need to be prepared. Yeah. Stefan LaRue, District Manager for RSA, thank you very much. It's my pleasure.